Last episode, I completely finished building my entire tower. Today, I'm taking a break from building and I'm going to mess with the new content. So I'm going to start today's episode off a little bit different. We're going to go and go on the attack and take out the cannibal villagers. I want to get some creepy armor because I'm completely out right now. So let's go farm up. Here we are. Okay, so we've got one twin. That's it? That's all that's here? Okay. There we go. All dead. Three pieces of creepy armor. The other village, for some reason, was empty. I don't know why. It's just very quiet around here today. Right. Let's get back to the base. I want to set up new zip lines to get to the top of the tower. Oh, never mind. There's the worm. That radio needs to go off. I was looking for some more armor. What? There we go. Easy peasy. Four pieces of creepy armor. Not bad. Oh, I guess only three. I did take some damage. So, these new zip lines that are going to get me up to the top of the tower. This current one is... goes really far away, so that's not ideal at all. The way I'm going to do this is... Well, I've got to build something up at the top to soften the fall damage, but I'm going to put that zip line right there. And I'm going to hook this up a little bit further out. Maybe... maybe here. That looks good. Now, if I go up this, I will take fall damage. So, that's going to have to be fixed. So, I've got to build a platform right where these logs are. So, let's move these out of the way for now. So, this platform is going to be extremely simple. It's just going to have... It's just going to be one up, essentially. And that will soften the fall from there. Just enough so I don't take any fall damage. Okay, so, there's one problem with potentially these zip lines. I've been testing a little bit, and sometimes when I go down these, I die. Um, so hopefully I don't die right now. I'm even... I can't take my armor off. Um, there's no way to test it other than just to go down. So let's send it. Hopefully I don't die. I don't know why. It's temperamental. That time was good. Okay, awesome. Now if I go back up, I should hit the bottom of the floating platform and land perfectly in the center. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to go down this again. I really hope I don't die. I have a feeling I'm going to die this time. My zip line's messed up. No, okay. So, that was pretty good. I think it could have been too close when I was doing my testing. So, let's set up the other zip lines. And the last zip line right here. Awesome. So, I'm going to go take down these zip lines because I don't need them anymore. And then the tower has a very easy way to get to the top. Awesome. Right. I want to get the glider and the binoculars that came out in the new update. And then I'm going to work on um, the apex. The half apex is going to go right there in the center of the screen. So we can uh, technically finish this build. Also, they're going to go at the top there to make the spikes more solid. The binoculars. That is my objective right now. Let's go and get them. They are located, I believe, this way. Oh boy, this is so much traveling to do. I, the more I travel, the more I need and realize I need the Broadway. So... I do plan on starting that project fairly soon here. That would be lovely. I don't know if Kelvin's going to follow. I hope he isn't. Right. Here should be the binoculars. There they are. Awesome. So, uh, yes, I, I already have got these. Um, if you're wondering how I know the location, I did record a whole episode, but I lost it because I, I perma-died. Uh, so I had to go back. I lost like three hours of recording. Anyhow, long story short, we now have the binoculars. Um, now, if we take a look around, um, it looks like these binoculars just change your FOV. You can see because, like, there's notches. I mean, I'll give it a full test before I judge it. Um, so, let's go and get the glider. I have to travel quite far right now to my starter base and to my second base because that's roughly where the glider is. At least there are multiple locations. That's the one I want to get. On the way, I'm just going to make two quick pit stops. If this cannibal camp has mutants, I want to wipe it out. I think it's got one. No, these are all normal cannibals. Yeah, never mind. I'm going to make a quick pit stop at the base. Um, the floating base. I want to make sure that it is still standing. Um, the update that came out may have made it collapse. So I just want to make sure that it still exists in the world. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Wow, there it is. It still exists to this day. That is... that is super cool. <laughs> Alright, well, like I said, we're not going to be maining that base. That was just a nice little project to build. So let's, uh, let's head onwards here. I've actually got to go straight through this camp right now, so... That is, uh, 
That is tremendous. I wonder if they've patched building that. I'm pretty sure they have. Hold on a sec. Got to How many helicopters are on this island? I mean, is this the the first crew? No, nah, there's skeletons in there. They've been there a little while here. I got some clothing, I think. What did I get? Leather jacket. I don't know what I got. I got a red something. Ooh. Looks like we have a cannibal camp of mutants only. Let's do some more farming, shall we? The twins are a little concerning, though. Wow. That was easy. Like, I don't know, maybe four or five pieces of creepy armor? I think I took one hit. Another free piece. <laughs> I hope you can put the armor on the mannequins so then you can store it so you don't lose any. That would be really nice. Oh, it's so nice to be back here. It's been so long. Feels like it anyway. Alright, so while I'm at this base, I'm actually gonna throw some doors on this thing. Now that they do something, I feel like it's nice to uh, go back and update the older builds. So, uh, let's do that. I don't think I've stored any logs here. Got one here. That will do. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a window here. Maybe a door here and a window there. Let's get to work. Ah! Oh! Oh my god! I, I wonder what that noise was. Ew! Imagine if you could skin these, not for creepy armor, but creepy armor fragments, like small pieces, and then you could stitch them together to make one piece. That'd be cool. Okay, so now that those are filled in, I'm gonna put the doorway in right here, so let's chisel that out really quickly. Much better, much better. Right, I actually just accidentally hit the floor, so let's repair that. I can click the hammer, god damn, okay. Awesome. Yeah, let's do the window. Oh, there we go. We've got that window in. Now let's chuck in the door, which I think is going to be placed the right way. Yes. Awesome. And then I should have a stick, and this will be done and dusted. I'm so glad they added locks. It's like needed. Awesome. The space is essentially done. <laughs> Just need some more furnishing and th like things to put in here. Apparently there isn't a lot. Oh, that looks so much better with the window and the door in. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm not sure if the cannibals can vault through the window, though. I think I've seen that happen, funnily enough. Alright, so the glider should be just over here, I believe. And what I'm going to try and do is land on top of my tower. It's going to be very tricky. I've uh, I've seen some gameplay of people using the glider. I've even used it a little bit myself. It seems quite difficult to land, especially on top of towers. So this is going to be very interesting. There should be the glider right here. There it is. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do this camp up a little bit and uh, maybe save the game. I don't really use enough of these flares. It's kind of pointless. They were pointless in the first game as well. Po pointless in Stranded Deep in the forest. They're not bright enough. They don't, like, I think they last long enough, but it's just not very good. So maybe they could address that. I don't know. Right. The base is somewhere down here. It's not rendering by the looks of it. Surprising. Oh. Ha ah, ah. ah. Okay. <laughs> let's uh let's give this a go, shall we? Oh Right. The hardest thing about this you can see the tower just there, is that I'm gonna have to kill my speed. That's gonna be the hardest thing. I'm not really sure how to do that apart from a bit of a Oh okay, lag spike, lag spike, lag spike. Why am I at 11 FPS, 8 FPS, 7 FPS right now? <gasps> that ruined the flyby. This is so cool. Look at that tower, man. That's going to be so good once I get the circular ring wall in. That's going to look so good. Right, let's give this a go, shall we? Let's dip down. And then we're going to go up. Oh, I went too low. I went too low. Oh. Oh, okay, that's not how a glider works. It's really cool to see the map from up here. I like this. Right, let's line up perfectly. Dip down. And dip up. Up, 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 up. Ah, oh, overshot. Alright, I'm going to try a different approach. Seeing as the glider isn't functioning as it should. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Please work. <gasps> yes! Yes! Success! Look at that! Oh, that's so good. Right. Alright. 
So I'm going to give the glider a break for now because that's very dangerous. And I'm going to work on these half apex uh, right here. I want to fill these in with logs. So let's do that. All right, so the way this works, if I can do this, is you don't stack them here. What you do is... Struggle. Ah! What you're supposed to be able to do is snap them against the edge here, but it seems like I can't do it because of the way this is. This actually has like a half post right here, or a quarter post, and you can't fill these apex, uh, these half apexes in. It's just not possible. So I can't do these ones up here. That's really annoying. I'm going to do the ones down below, though, because there's still a lot of work to do there. So, just down here. Is it the next one? Yes, here. So, right here, you can place against the wall. I can do it. There, like that. Instead of placing it here, which isn't even possible right now for some reason, you place it here. And then it'll trim off a little bit and make it perfect. And if you're quick enough... Oh, I missed it. You can catch the offcut on the outside before it falls down. So that can save you some... Uh, some resources, but because I'm at a tower, I have to uh, I have to use large logs and then cache them. <laughs> it's really annoying. I try again here. Let's slap that down there, and then uh, got it. Perfect. So you can save logs quite easily. Just a little bit of log farming, and now you can see just here that it's looking so much better now that it's got these uh, these filled in. So it's really worth doing. I found that you can actually do this. You can fill a half apex, or whatever it's called, I think it's half apex, with two logs. It only costs two logs, which is super nice. Just like that. You chop one in half and one into a quarter. Easy. Oh my god, I love that you can move them. Oh, that's so good. Needed. Very, very needed. I somehow got the logs stuck inside the floating platform. That was unintended, but cool nonetheless. <laughs> Okay, so just checking around everywhere. I think this is completely done now. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to head outside and take a look. And the reveal? That is looking a lot better. I wish I could do the ones at the top, but I just can't because of the layout. I don't know why. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But uh, no, that's, uh, that's really solid looking. Now I want to go and check out if the mini boss is there. That's something that I really want to do. Uh, so we're going to take the glider. Please don't kill me. The logs are there. Oh dear. Oh! Okay. I'm not just going to check out the boss. I actually want to get some collectibles, which I didn't get um, when I first went there. Because there was a bug. They weren't spawning. So that was completely out of my control. But if I can figure out where to go. I think I actually have to go this way to my, my other base. Yes, yes I do. Okay. <gasps> Here we are. Easy transportation. Look at that. Let's make sure I'm going the right way. I can't take the, the map out. Well, we're going to have to uh, use our eyeballs. I think I'm going the wrong way. Maybe not. No, no, I think this is the right way. I see the lake over there. And then... I don't really know. <laughs> let's, let's find out. Hopefully I can get some more speed here. I am losing altitude quite a lot here, so I'm going to sacrifice speed for altitude. Makes the most sense. I think I have to go to the left. Basically, I'm trying to get to my base. Which I think is just up here. And I'm going to try and land, I think, right in this open field. This makes the most sense. Hopefully my base is here, because if it is, then... Oh! Yo, I got here! Success! I don't know about the controls for this thing, honestly. It's, um... <gasps> don't take fall damage. If you hit a tree, no matter what, you will, uh... Come on, land perfectly. Land. Yes! Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I'm here because just over here is the entrance to the cave with the miniboss. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I thought I did. I got a red suit for Virginia. That's what was at the helicopter. That's why I, I couldn't wear it. I was thinking about taking the shotgun off Virginia for this fight. But I have no idea where I'm going right now. <laughs> um, but I don't really want to do that. I think I'm going to just go in with the katana and give it my best. The guns feel a little cheaty. 
Oh, I like that it's open. And you can just fall through. That's nice. Wait, the crossbow spawns back in? You can have two crossbows. Where is it? They need to fix the respawning, honestly. I, I mean, maybe not fix, but just address. I really hope that because I've already been in here, the things have respawned. If not, the new ones at least should be there. If not, oh well. I've missed out. Okay, well, the door's open. I'm not sure if I'm in any luck right now. I don't think I see them. Uh-oh. Yep, now the whole place is empty. No boss fight for me. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm in luck. Yes, let's go. All right, let's get some more armor on. I think I have some here. Nope. That's all I have. Let's do this. I may try and stun them first. Can we get away from this music? Terrible music. Terrible. What do you, what do you think about that, eh? What do you think about that? Now, I believe this is Edward and Barbara Puffton. Ow. What do you call that? Quick, katana, katana. Ah! That's rude! Edward! Oh my god, these guys hurt. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe I should have brought the gun. Who knows? There's no way you're getting up from that grenade. Okay, so Edward's dead. <laughs> and you can skin them. Oh my god. Going back to... Going back to Virginia, wearing her dad's skin. Could you imagine? Oh, that's brutal. That's not fair. Ah! Are you alive? That was a grenade. <gasps> I mean, hey, I'll do it again if you need me to. Oh, oh. Where is she? God damn. Has that killed you? I am very surprised at how difficult this fight is. Ah! Oh my god, she's so fast! Ah! Can someone turn this music off? It's coming from the tree. Let's, uh, let's take a piece of that and wear it. Wow, that was a very, very difficult fight. Shut up. Well, that was a very interesting. I'm glad they spawned, honestly. That's, uh, that's cool. <laughs> tough fight, tough fight. Well, I guess, uh, R.I.P. Edward and Barbara. So Virginia's the only one left. Well, let's, uh, get some more armor really quickly. Wow. That, ugh. My strength must be really high. I think maybe it's time to throw doors down on the base. The problem is, I've got to lock them from the inside. I, if some, if the attack happens, okay, theoretically, if an attack happens right now, I'm not going to go and cower inside the base. I'm going to attack them. And I don't want them to go in. But I can't stop them from the outside. You know what I'm saying? So uh, there's no need for doors here. Yeah, I was going to add the doors, but I think that's actually a disadvantage. Because now it's com complicating getting in to attack the guys in here. Wow. I don't want doors. Okay. I wonder just how close I can walk up to you without you doing anything. Okay. My next project is going to be the Broadway. I want a nice, easy, and functional way to get around the map. So, I have... I need to mark out where my bases are. Currently, they all sort of point towards this lake. So, I might make the center of the Broadway that lake for now. But, let's do some testing. I'm not going to build the entire Broadway today, but I want to figure out just exactly how far I can get a zip line. So, if I... I'm going to end up, like, dying to a spike trap so let's put it to the center and just see how far i can get now i think i've done this once before and it like disconnects it clicks and then that is where you have to stop wow okay wow still going still okay wow still going still still going okay <sighs> wow right here <laughs> is uh as far as you can go. So let's roughly measure that. I'm going to throw down a little stick here. Well, I'll make it a fence just so I can easily find it. So the way I'm going to get this to work is using tree houses. That's going to be the trick. I'm not going to build, you know, the, the structures and things like that. Just, just a simple tree house on a tree. And then the zip line is going to connect to the tree. Simple as that. 
And then all I have to do is connect zip lines between all the trees, and that will form the Broadway. It seems there are just too many trees to build this zip line safely. Um, but it can go very far, which is good. So that is going to be an interesting little project. It's going to take a little bit of time, but nowhere near as much as this. Now, what platforms do we have available? We've got a, quite a large one and a small one, and that's it. And then we've got tree, actual tree houses. We don't want the, tra uh, the houses, we want the platforms. 35 logs, 7 logs. Probably going to build the 35 logs because I like the way that it connects. And if I throw this platform down, I think I might even just build it. Why did it say 35 logs and this only says 16? Oh, I get it. Let's build it. Oh, wow. You can put it any height. Look at that. That's cool. So I want to put it as high as possible, I think. So because of the way the zip line is actually going to work, I have to cut a path through the trees anyway. So this is actually good that I'm building the more expensive one. Not only because it's a bigger platform and gives me more freedom, but I actually get to use the logs I'm chopping down. And just like that, the tree house is done. Well, can't really call it a tree house, can you? I just grabbed that log, chuck that down here. Now, one thing to note is that you've got to choose the right tree, it seems. If you want to have the platform high enough, it's um, going to look a bit strange. You see, I don't want all the leaves in the way, so I'm glad I did a bit of an experiment today. Got to choose the right tree. So, like, the tall, thin ones here, that'd be great for this. But, yeah, my plan is, is pretty much exactly that. So, if I just shoot this zip line there, that's connected to the tree. Head over here to this one, and then I can demonstrate what this is going to be like. Hopefully, this works flawlessly here. Now, I've heard there's a bit of an exploit where if you go into the, the escape pause menu right now, beautiful. And then just another one. <laughs> That's gonna work so well. Oh, I love that. I need that set up now. So if you're looking forward to me building the Broadway, the big network that is gonna connect all of my bases around the map, don't forget to tune in for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.